Hello, and I just made the um, RTS tutorial 5.5. Uh, some people have been having the problems. I mentioned this bug, um, and there's been enough complaints. Well, that I might as well show you how to fix it. Uh, I left this pretty much quotation in as a comment reply to someone. Uh, in an actual RTS, you'll notice that there's a GUI normally on the very top. Uh, very top or very bottom of the screen. Now I added a GUI just to show to make this more of a real game and uh, to show you how it's actually done. It's going to be on the bottom and the finished version is going to have a complete GUI. I was going to wait until the end to add this but I guess I won't now. Um, so this is going to be Part 6. Part 6 is now going to be Part 7, and I told you I was going to re-record it to fix another bug, and Part 7 will include this rock right here. It's another type of uh, resource. So notice there are two buttons, a cancel button and a move button. There will eventually also be an attack button, and everything else you could need, a uh, gather button. So now you hit gather, and then you click on that, instead of accidentally running into it, which is what it's at now. So to move, you select the move button and you move your character that's how that resource will work as soon as it's ready now the additive the reason why you do this is so now um, your mouse button is free to click on things for instance that building now if I select this and I move it over to around this area I can also deselect both these guys and I can select them with my box and you'll notice that they both get selected and they didn't move and I can click all around and they don't move but if I select my move icon I can move them both right over here and they'll both follow and then I can move them over here and they'll follow and it works pretty much like that um... <coughs> sorry uh, the cursor changes and if I have a move and I hit cancel it just cancels the move and I can deselect my characters and whatnot so uh, that all works um, so I'm going to show you how you actually do it uh, it only requires a little bit of changes you need the two objects cancel and move you'll need some sprites for the buttons and then you'll need an object some type of uh, reticle some type of pointer to basically show that uh... <coughs> sorry the cursor that it's going to be moving the characters so you're going to need a cursor image and two buttons cancel and move and on cancel all you have is uh... on left released execute a piece of code global dot cursor equals one and then I add some comments just to help whoever's just out and you may want to do it I did it as a suggestion cursor one equals normal that just tells uh, you as the user that cursor one one is the number for your normal average use and that you set the cursor by going under extra and then the bottom one set cursor we've done this before set the mouse to the regular normal sprite and don't show the the actual cursor. Then on move, we do the same thing except we set global dot cursor to two, and uh, we put in a comment showing the user that that's move, and we set the cursor to sprite, uh, whatever your moving one is. For me, it's sprite eleven. Uh, you might have named yours or done something like that. Both buttons are solid. Next, we have ship underscore worker and on this on global left released uh, we add another if statement we have a couple if statements here all of the global dot desx and whatnot, all this piece of code which was normally by itself here what you're going to do is around that you're going to put an if statement if global dot cursor equals two and then put in brackets so it only does that it only does this movement code if cursor 2 if it's cursor 2 as in the moving cursor and then we have if global dot cursor equals 1 and then inside that bracket we have the if you're in the box get selected now I'm going to show you how to uh, 
make this a little bit better write if selected equals one instead of select equals run right if selected equals one then put in brackets selected equals zero else put in brackets selected equals one so now it'll also deselect via the box okay what else and building underscore main when it's created we set the sprite to zero unfortunately I put that in the step event of something I think it was stop but in building main we have set mouse to sprite zero and don't show the cursor and uh, we also put global dot cursor equals one and another comment t telling us which one cursor one is so go ahead and go into stop and check in the step event if you have the set cursor if you do you're gonna have to take that out otherwise it will constantly be setting the cursor back to the regular pointing one and then you can just add the buttons in normally at the top or bottom it's just personal preference and um, let's see and then you get the ability to uh, do that now um, what you can also do is before you make all those changes go ahead and change the left press to a right press and I'll tell you what I mean in a sec because now you have to go all the way and click on that move button what you can also do is go into ship underscore worker duplicate mouse global mouse right release global right release and you're just duplicating the left release and you're just taking off a bunch of if statements and uh, the hope is that now you'll be able to do everything normally so if you're selected and all this other happy stuff um... okay this can get rid of and then all this cursor stuff whether you're in the box won't apply anymore so you can just delete this whole block so all you should have in the right release is global dot x equals mouse underscore x from that all the way to the moving and whatnot so uh, global dot des y equals mouse underscore y the if statement if self dot x and whatnot um, plus ten or self dot x is less than global dot des x minus ten um, if selected equals one moving equals one and image angle equals point direction all that uh, you can put under global right release and that way you have a shortcut so you can tell the user okay you can either do one of two things you can go and hit the move button or you can do the shortcut of hitting the right button so I'm just gonna get a couple and I'll hit right and it'll move over there and I can deselect it and I'll create another one I'll get a group of two in the meantime why don't I get this guy to go get some fuel this guy I'll select and bring over here this guy I'll select and bring over here and I'll deselect them both and I'll create a new guy and I'll bring it over there and I can select them and deselect them as a whole and I can just right click now instead of uh, having to do everything and it works I can deselect and select all of them as a whole I can go over and hit the move function to have them all move as a whole or I can go ahead and right click and they'll equally just move as one body and I can then like go ahead and deselect them or things like that so now you have shortcuts the bugs taken care of and you can still do it easily and accessibly especially with a normal mouse I'm using a laptop so it's a little more difficult but at the same time it still has a good amount of ease to it so Thanks for watching. Please rate, please comment. Hope that solved your problems.